Well, it's 6 a.m. and load up the truck. And here's one of our pieces for our top. See a couple of nails that I missed. But this machine has been worth its weight in gold. Um, this is about $2,500. For this, I haven't put the extension table piece on. I need to. But to be able to do this with this, this thing is already paid for itself. This is so much easier than if I were trying to do this down there. But this is a very hard, very sappy wood. And it does not stand easy. But it's going to be a gorgeous top for the cabinet. You know, they say think outside of the box. And that's exactly what we're doing with this wall. This is going to be one of those things that either you love it or you hate it. So I've started going through and getting off the loose paint and you can see the montage of colors that are there from, you've got some, it's her, almost a turquoise blue to a brown to a yellow, the blue, and it's kind of be definitely rustic. So I'm going to finish sanding out um, in here and you can see some places where the paint's holding on more than others, but we want this to be kind of like a peeling wall. Tell me what you think on this one. So we're gonna try and even up the top up here and the bottom and so on. Wish we hadn't got this part right here, but we'll put a picture right over that portion. All right, so step number one is done. So now I'm gonna have to varnish all this with a brush and see how it looks. It's one of those things that either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. But this is just the background of what's gonna be basically a palette of what you put on it. And if we don't like it because we're using the latex varnish, we can always paint it over. So we'll see how it's gonna look. Actually, let me take the shade up and that'll help. Now, what we've kind of figured is the sunlight has baked some of the paint over in here so it's worn it out more than it has at the tops and things. But I, I like it, it's kind, of, it's kind of different. Reminds me of like blue jeans. Maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know. All right, so we've put on the latex varnish on the walls to seal it up. And now I'm putting the oil-based varnish on the door, back of the doors. So you can see the color contrast. This will match the floors. And um, you see the milky look right now on the uh, wood. That'll dry crystal clear. And that will be basically the colors that were on the wall as it stands now and so this is one of those things that this is kind of a is it a design element or are we being cheap and lazy ah, that's that's the real question um it's definitely a lot cheaper because i had a half gallon of latex varnish and to take the sander only took me about a half hour to sand it with my drywall sander so definitely a time saver. Now the wife is upstairs actually painting the molding that I uh, cut yesterday. So once this all dries out and that's all done, we'll come through and we'll put the molding up on the, the walls. I think I'm going to need to plaster up a little bit higher, but I can do that after the molding's in place. Um, but we'll get the molding and the trim and stuff done in here. And then we're going to start bringing in some of the furniture in this spot and see how this place really transforms. This is where it's getting to be exciting now because we'll actually have people. Uh, I think one of my daughters are going to be here tomorrow along with Leroy. So we'll have our first pet in the house and we'll have our second company. Uh, my brother was here and... Um, see how she likes it. It's amazing how beautiful this wood looks um, when it's varnished. And so what we're gonna do, the old desk is gonna go over here and then I'm gonna do a built-in over here and it's gonna have the antique heart pine pieces that I made um, yesterday for a top. So you'll have the accents of that and the base molding will all be white. So, 
this won't feel quite as sterile with the plaster walls, in which case we still have to uh, line wash those at some point too. Although I do need to touch up some places, but you know, this is gonna be one of those projects. People say, so when are you gonna be done? I said, I'll probably stop working on this the day I die. Because when you have a 200 year old house, there's always gonna be stuff that you wanna do and stuff that you're gonna need to do. Look at that door. Craftsmanship. Good luck at finding a door today that'll hold up like these have over all of the years. Now we'll need to go through and touch up the black um, from where I've got lime on there to make it really pretty, but it's getting there. Wow, now that looks 100 times better having that varnish now. Um, the way the color is popping on there. I think this is gonna be like the time warp room because you can see this is how they would have built all the interior walls back in the day. They didn't have, well, they didn't necessarily do plaster and laugh. It was easier to put the wood up because there was tons and tons of wood. And to see that this was, must have been a doorway here at one point and to um, see the construction of it to me is a thing of beauty. So definitely it's kind of cool. When we put the crown molding at the top, we'll kind of finish it off. And the way you decorate this wall, I'm envisioning this being kind of like a, a wild, wild west theme. We've got the pistols coming from my buddy that are Civil War pistols, maybe some horse spurs, maybe some uh, horseshoes and things like that on the walls. Um, just some eclectic stuff. It, to me, it reminds me of the old west. That's what it feels like. And uh, we'll see what you guys think. So the next thing will be is we get rid of the base molding or get the new base molding put up on there and the trim cap pieces and then go back through and we'll be able to paint, uh, put a nice edge and stuff with the black. And then it will really start to stand out. All right, so our idea of putting the piece in front of it instead of ripping that off and then putting the cap molding on it <laughs> looks great. And you can see over here, we had to actually cut the floor, kind of takes a big bend, so we actually had to scribe the floor and make that cut. But all of a sudden, now you see where I thought I was going to plaster way back up. That stuff actually looks really, really good. So get this piece on here, start getting those down the side. And man, we really going to have this looking good here. Can't wait to get the sofa in here. Um, the walls, you can see they have a little bit of a sheen to it from the satin. Don't mind it at all because that seals it up. Uh, we got crown molding that we're going to paint and put up, although we're probably going to stop um, right here in the corner because we're going to do built-ins and eventually we we'll have to come back and cut that, but it'll be nice. And of course, I think what we're going to do for our spot that's kind of, boom, we can put that right, look at that. Oh, it's perfect, baby. It's perfect right there. And you love how the rustic look oh, goes perfect, just like that. Perfect size and everything. Okay, I feel good about this room. Would you like to sleep here? Hmm. Oh my goodness, look at this. So we've got the base molding and everything in. We need to touch up uh, the, around the doors and stuff. We've got the doors varnished. And see, here's what's kind of, this is kind of funny because <laughs> the doors are so short, you can see the handles are so low on them because the doors have been cut down to fit the openings there. It's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Because then you see this door, which is, you can see they kind of, we don't care about having a regular door door. We have that, but it looks good with the varnish on it. And we ended up covering up the spot almost perfectly with the picture of the red brick house. So you can't tell where we over sanded. This is kind of neat. I think this actually is really good. With the white molding, with that up on there, we'll get a different print to go up there, I'm sure. I think a Buffalo Soldier is what you're looking for. And a collage of stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go get the couch and bring it in here and the desk so that way we have some furniture. But looking around, can you believe what this looked like last week before we started sanding this room? Freaking insane. We've got to change the blind up here too. Ooh, time to change the blind. Time to change the blind. 
and almost time to get ready for the Eagles game. Okay, so here's how it looks. We got the red brick house print up there. We got the lamp. We need like a little side table or something. The couch is here. It's cozy. You know, the biggest problem with this house is there's so many windows and so many doors and fireplaces that there's really not a lot of places to set up to sit. But this actually will work good because this is, it's a sofa bed. So it pulls out, becomes a sofa bed, sleeper. We'll do the built-in bookcase and base unit right here with drawers. That'll go there nicely. And the walls, it's amazing that the blue goes so well with the couch. This, I think, is actually a lot better than what I thought it could be. It, to me, looks freaking fantastic right now. Actually, let me... There we go. Clear the couch. Okay, so here's what we have. We've got <laughs> our red brick house print right there. But something bigger, as my wife said, should definitely go up in there. We're going to put the crown molding up there tomorrow after we paint it. But you see the couch, it looked like it was black before, but you see how the blue is really popping with the couch and looks really good. Now, one of the problems with this house is there's three doors in here, a window, and a fireplace. And the room is about uh, 15 by 12, maybe? Yeah, 15 by 12, I think it is. So it's not a lot of space that's in here. And the fireplace, of course, being bumped out hurts a lot. So we've got the antique desk that's right here. Um, we'll probably build bookcases up above it, maybe. So that way we can do stuff with this. And this is the time warp room, I like to call it. Uh, you see how nice the door looks with the varnish on it. I got another coat on it. But with the floors and the base molding and stuff in there. Um, the wood walls, I think that's actually a really nice touch. Uh, with the varnish on it, it has just a little bit of a sheen to it. It'll keep it from peeling anymore, but definitely looks good. We'll touch up the black paint. But this room, oh my goodness. Of course, I need to get my shoes and my sweatshirt out of there and my drill. But this room is beginning to really look cozy.